I want you to meet a friend of mine. His name is George. This is George down here. Maybe we can look at him. Hello, George. If you think uh, old Jane's running a court low because she's talking to a toy car, well, think again, because George understands. Hello, George. At least, he understands a lot of things. Let me show you, for example. George, turn left. <clears throat> George, don't make a fool of me. <laughs> Would someone... Oh boy, is it George? Um, George. All right. All right. George, turn left. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, please. What well, do you expect of a car George. with a mustache? There we go. George, turn left. Straight. George, go straight. Straight. <clears throat> I had a car like okay. that once. <laughs> All right, George. Can I speak? Yeah. Okay. Straight. Over here, George. Boy. Turn right. Right. Hey, stop. George, stop. Oh, who is that? Who is that man who's talking to George that you haven't met yet? Well, we'd like you to meet the um, the man who was responsible for George's misbehavior this morning. His name is Robert McCaslin, and he is 24 years old, and he is an inventor because, and he is an important invent inventor because he and little George here may revolutionize the toy industry because George responds to voice commands. That's not necessarily new. But the fact that George is so cheap in relative terms, he will be available in stores fairly soon for the pr low price of twenty nine ninety five. You say that's not very low price, Jane, but for for an automobile that occasionally circles, responds yeah. to voice commands, <laughs> that's um, that's really something. You invented uh, or, or rather perfected voice command uh, technology, beginning when you were a, a young lad in high school, as I understand. Right. Is that correct? Correct. About 17 years old. Now, so. what is it that you have done exactly? Why does George respond sometimes? <laughs> Why does he behave, uh, behave for you and not for us? Okay, George has a built-in personality. Uh, if you're in a good mood, he's in a good mood. <laughs> it's Monday morning. That's true. That's true. That's true really. Um, and his personality is that he might say left, and he, he'll go left, but he also might uh, stop. He kind of thinks for himself as he's doing what he does. Now he, okay, oh. let's be honest. He's programmed, right? And uh, when no. I say George go left, he'll go left because he because I he was told right, to say though. left and not right. He might go right. What is it? The sound waves activate a certain mechanism in the car. Correct. Yes. Right. Yes. But with with some people, regional accents sound differently to that mechanism in there. Yes, they do. If if you talk to the car in Hebrew, will it go backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. That's right. Uh, Why don't you? No, he, how do you get it to start? Let's start. Okay, George, go left. <clears throat> left. That changed toys. Yes, change. Sure. Change me. <coughs> sure. George is going back to the voice factory. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here we have George this Jr. One here is this one doesn't have a mustache. Maybe this will work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, George, stop. Go left. Oh yeah, go this left. is good. Straight. Get the fellow straight. Hey, straight. George, come here. Turn. Hey, stop. Let's see. Here. All right. Now go right. Right. <laughs> sharper. Now go left. Straight. Oh, that's, that's marvelous. Right. Sharper. There you go. Stop. George. I say please. <laughs> okay, George. Come here. Come on, George. Go left. Come on. 